Ray Binkowski, author of the book, brand new Get Fit and Live Healthy, Andy by Color, owner of the hybrid gym Fitworks in DeKalb, Illinois, talking about fast forwarding your results in terms of weight loss, health and wellness. And then also, what do you do with the kids? Now they're going back to school. We're going to talk a little bit about making better choices with and for your kids, how to make that happen, how to get it done how to do in a way that it's not only affordable, but it tastes good enough that your kids will eat it. Um, fast forward your results. There's a great guy we fire, follow here at Fitworks named Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, you can check him out, Google him. He's got a lot to say about advertising, sales, marketing, the wine business and industry. He's been very successful. He's been talking a little bit about this lately in his videos. We've talked about it internally for a long time, especially with younger employees younger athletes and, and clients, especially people when I say younger, that refer to people that are new to exercise, new to training, new to working out, whatever you want to call it. Everybody wants results now. It just doesn't work that way. When we look at a uh, TV show from the past, example I always use, it's starting to become very dated, MTV Cribs. They always show the band, the artist, Snoop Dogg, hanging at his crib, he's got five or six, six whips, fancy pants cars, the swimming pool, the basketball court, the mansion out on the west coast, homes elsewhere. What they never talk about is the path, the road, the struggle that got to that point that made that possible. Same thing we look at people that have been successful with long-term weight loss, weight management. Again, we're gonna go after the lose, 40, or lose 20 pounds in 40 days, all the boot camp clubs around the country are doing it. There's a dude out in Oklahoma. His business has been very successful with that. But again, 20 pounds in 40 days, the, what really matters is are you going to keep the weight off? There's no quick fix. If you're going to be successful, it can't be a diet. It can't be something you do for six weeks. It can't be 42 days. It can't be 40 days. It's got to be something that you can do the rest of your life, day in and day out. And that means that you're probably not going to drop 20 pounds immediately. You're not going to drop 10 pounds in a week. What you are going to drop is a pound or two on a weekly basis, and you're going to be able to maintain that and continue to lose that weight. And once you get all the weight off that you want to lose, you'll be able to maintain it. I'll give you an example. I had a female client, almost 40 years of age, two kids, lost 110 pounds, 110 pounds pounds. She lost it a pound at a time. It wasn't 20 pounds every six weeks. It was a pound at a time. Same thing, the knuckleheads out there pimping the chicken and broccoli diet. Guess what? You can't eat that way forever. The fish and vegetable diet, you cannot eat that way forever. So anybody that's out there thinking, well, I'm just going to eat fish and asparagus, well, for how long? Like, you're gonna do that in a month, two months, three months, in four months when the holidays are here? The reality of it is no. So again, fast forward to your results, forget about the fast part, look for consistent progress, find those small victories you can celebrate on a daily basis, look for that scale to move a little bit on a weekly basis, and then here's what we've seen. In women, scale goes up. If you're doing things right, scale will go up in the first four weeks. So the first four months, Scale's going up, okay? And usually that's because you're losing fat slower than you're gaining muscle. Two, most people, men and women, are not going to see results in themselves until around 10 weeks. So forget the fast forward part. It's gonna take you 10 weeks to see any results, okay? And those results are gonna be in the mirror when you put dress pants on, when you put a pair of blue jeans or denim on hot out of the dryer. You're looking at 10 to 12 weeks into it. And again, if it's taking you 10 or 12 weeks to start noticing change, you're probably making progress towards your goal at a rate that's long-term sustainable. So the goal isn't lose 20 pounds in six weeks. The goal is lose 20 pounds and keep them off forever. And by the way, that's coming from a guy that used to fit in those pants. So I was 232 pounds, sick at the doctor's office in the mid to late 90s. Today I'm 171 pounds and it's darn near 20 years later. The goal is small incremental progress and you maintain forever. Now let's talk kids. Um, it's never been easier than it is today to get help, get ideas, 
to make better food choices for yourself and your kids. Secret, tip, hint, trick. Back when I had a radio show years ago, I would bring success stories on the radio, let them share their story, share their experience, share their success and their failures. And I brought a father of four on the radio one time. The first thing he said on air was, he said, it's the most amazing thing. My wife and I both played collegiate sports. I've let myself go, got out of shape, gained some weight. My four boys were very athletic, very active, but they were making the same food choices as the rest of the family, namely me and my wife. I started to eat by color. I started to make better food choices. Didn't say anything to my kids. It took a couple weeks when my kids started to ask to eat like I was eating. So parents, if you're sitting out there and you want to help your kids, lead by example. Don't do the goose and gander thing. If you're the goose, set the example for the gander and help them follow your example. Now, today let's break down breakfast because we're going to do health eating for kids over a series of talks. Breakfast, things that are good for breakfast. Eggs, eggs and oatmeal, eggs and toast, eggs and English muffins. And by the way, the ding-dongs, knuckleheads that are the anti-carb movement, carbs aren't necessarily bad. You just have to cut back on them in comparison to the typical North American diet. You still need some carbs. So when we look at kids, English muffins and eggs, toast and eggs, make them an egg wrap. Use a flat out or a fold it, scramble some eggs, throw some cheese in there, put it in a wrap, roll it up, wrap it in a paper towel, they can eat it going out the door. Um, oatmeal, take your oatmeal, throw a scoop of protein powder in there, mix it up. Add a little pure ground cinnamon, it's gonna taste good, it's gonna digest slowly, they're gonna get some fiber, they're gonna get some carbs, they're gonna start the day off on the right foot. Protein shake, there's nothing wrong occasionally. Now again, we, we have teeth for a reason, we need to eat regular old food, but occasionally having a protein shake using a blender bottle is going to make life really easy and convenient. Those that get up late and are going out the door can still have quality nutrition. Uh, oatmeal, mix it with cottage cheese. I know you're sitting there thinking, oh, that's gross. In the winter in the Midwest or the Northwest or the Northeast or the northern part of the country, when it's starting to get chilly out, half cup of oatmeal, quick oats, some water, half cup to a cup of cottage cheese, throw in some berries, microwave it, mix it up. It's thick, it tastes good, it's gonna stick with you, it's gonna provide some carbs for energy. Kids are gonna be full till lunch. Things you don't wanna do at breakfast, Pop-Tarts, toaster strudels, a bowl of cereal like I used to eat when I was fat. I used to consume a half a box of Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles pretty much every morning for breakfast with 2% milk. 2% milk like liquid sugar, and the box of the fruity or cocoa pebbles, that's all sugar, man. And at 8.30 in the morning, I would be struggling to keep my eyes open. The reason for that is I would send my blood sugar to the moon, it'd come crashing down. Pretty soon, I'm a half hour, an hour into my school day, I can't keep my eyes open. That's not likely to happen with oatmeal and protein, oatmeal and cottage cheese, a protein shake, eggs in an English muffin, eggs and toast, eggs in a wrap. If you're sitting there saying, I don't have time to make eggs, I got five kids, I work, I'm a single parent, hey, I hear you, I got you, I feel you, make your eggs in advance. Take a cookie sheet, spray the individual, or the um, cupcake sheet, spray the little cupcake cups, crack an egg, drop a cracked egg in each one, bake it in the oven at like 325 or 350 for 20 minutes, pre-make your eggs, take them out, throw them in a Tupperware, put it in the fridge in the morning, Every morning, kid gets up, toasts the, egg, the muffin, English muffin. Muffin comes up, put your eggs in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, put it between the English muffins. If you want to get crazy, live on the edge, put a slice of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, whatever you want on there. They got a portable egg muffin, or egg McMuffin, you want to use McDonald's terminology. They can walk out the door eating it. They're not going to be falling asleep mid-morning. They're going to be full to lunch. Not only do those options, are they convenient? They taste good. They provide quality carbohydrates, plenty of amino acids. They're easy to make and they're portable. Anybody can make that stuff. We're not talking gourmet cooking here. The other thing is if you've got a kid that leaves early, they got zero hour PE, or they do like a weightlifting program before PE, maybe got one of these badass six pack coolers. Uh, kudos to six pack cooler. This is one of my trainer, my administrator, Chris. She actually ripped her original one they contacted Six Pack, they sent her a brand new cooler. So way to go, Six Pack, for doing that. 
but there's all kinds of portable food options in Tupperware, what we called Tupperware when I was a kid. Now there's a million brands, varieties. They're cheap. They sell them at every store under the sun. Get a container. You do your oatmeal made the night before. I did this last night for everybody in my house. Okay, half cup of quick oats, one to two scoops of protein powder, some water, mix it up, refrigerate it, put the lid on so it doesn't dry out. In the morning, all you gotta do is pop the lid off. Now it's cold, but it's done and it's ready to go. My four-year-old and not quite two-year-old love it, as does my wife. So again, terribly easy. Uh, Six-pack cooler gives you yet another way that you can conveniently get six meals, haul them around, you got a kid that plays sports, they're out the door early, make their breakfast, make their lunch, make their snacks, send them off to the bus, send them off to their carpool, send them off to their cool, ready to go for the whole day. They'll have their meals, their lunch, their breakfast, something after school before practice, something after practice, a game, or whatever it might be. Again, eating right's not hard. If you've got kids, best advice, lead by example. If you're the goose and you got your gander, set the example, goose. Uh, Ray Binkowski, author of the book Eat by Color, Get Fit and Live Healthy, owner of the hybrid training gym Fitworks, and again, I used to fit in those pants, so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about when I say you don't need a fast-forward, six-week, quick fix. You need a long-term, sustainable, maintainable approach that's going to allow you to gradually move towards your goals, reach them, and stay there. <clears throat>